All right, once again, stuff is getting serious here because what happens in St. Louis usually comes up and uh, hits us. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all my uh, ham stuff ready and uh, go from there. And, uh, you know, if you haven't already, most news stations have, like, uh, weather apps. Download that. The American Red Cross has a weather app. Download that, a tornado app, a preparedness app, a shelter app, all kinds of apps. So um, download that and uh, just uh, get your kits together, flashlights, make sure you got extra batteries. And uh, this is not a like a joking thing or, or uh, anything like that. This is like deadly serious, okay? So pay attention. Be aware. So we got some uh, serious stuff coming in here. You see Vandalia there. It's uh, way below where I live, but still. Now if we go back to the ham radio, we can hear real time what's going on there too with the storm spotters. So I program in two of our local repeaters here. As you can see, the two meter, seventy centimeters. This one is the link repeater system. So that one goes all the way down to St. Louis, which is a good thing, because then I know what's coming. Uh, usually storms come from the southwest, up uh, our way. Like I said, if I want to transmit and all that stuff and, and switch between these two channels, all I got to do is just switch like that. Now I'm 70 centimeters. There you go, two meters. Okay, this is getting serious now. We gotta seek shelter because <clears throat> they're sounding sirens. You hear that? Tornado one located near Niagara Keep moving east at 35 miles an hour. And the transmission at 2157. All right, I hear it. I'm going. I'm going downstairs in the basement. All right. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Get all my stuff. Shit's really bad out there. My biggest regret is I didn't bring my uh, my handheld with me. It's bad. It's in my car. It was hooked up to my car all day. But what are you gonna do? Oh, shit. And the power just went out. <laughs> what did I always tell you guys? I always have a freaking flashlight around, huh? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Should not have left my my handheld in my car. Cause I got no power. And my mobile, well not my mobile, my uh, my base station, I hadn't, I don't have an external battery supply for it yet. <sighs> Shit. There goes the tornado siren again. I just realized my car is in the garage. There's no power, so I can't open the garage door. Because I actually don't have a key for it, because we never got one from the previous owners, so it's all electronic. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, electronic. Stuff you gotta think about, you know? Uh, sirens stopped. Of course, my basement is now starting to flood a bit. Shit. Um, I don't know what kind of damage there is. Hopefully there's no damage and nobody, no lives lost, but I'm sure I'll get a 
call soon to have to head down to the EOC to help out, but not a good start. This is a good reminder to have battery backup power for your ham radio or to have your handheld with you because when the power's out, the power's out. This is a good lesson for everybody to in their prepping thing, you know. At least I'm somewhat prepared, but you always learn something new. So you gotta take this shit seriously. By the way, this is the Rayovac indestructible flashlight. <laughs> Actually, I gotta go topside now. The sirens are gone and uh, the uh, rain is abating. So um, I'm gonna bring some more flashlights with me because uh, I don't know if this is gonna run out, but uh, I'll get some. You never have too many flashlights, eh? Jack it out. Okay, like I always said with disaster preparedness, at least have a handheld radio with you. This, uh, this is my little Radio Shack one that I have. Um, and uh, um, we'll, we'll turn it on and see if anything happens. So I knew this camp lantern would come in handy sometime. <laughs> well, still got no power. I need to go to sleep. I don't know if I'm going to have to get called out in the middle of the night. But Alright, later. So yesterday a big storm rolled through here. Knocked the power out. Still do not have power. And... Uh, Oh, I think I lost power at maybe 10 o'clock or so. I can't remember. It's now uh, 9.43 here. Um, ham radio is about as useful as a brick right now because I did not get an uh, external battery pack for it. So that's prepping mistake number one. Cell phone is dead. I do not have an extra battery pack for that. Prepper mistake number two. I can't manually open my garage because I don't have the key for it. That's prepper mistake number three. So basically, I am in the position of uh, not knowing what's going on. Now luckily, I uh, managed to, uh, to uh, squeeze out one last call before my phone died. So I'm going to have somebody come pick me up and take me to, to work where hopefully we have power. Um, but yeah, we got probably 5,000 people without power right now and uh, it just goes to show you you know you you think you're prepared but you're really not and when things like this happen it's actually a good thing because then you learn from your mistakes I learned from my mistakes that I'll probably leave my car out someplace uh, when a storm's rolling in uh, or at least leave my garage door open and uh, get external battery packs or everything that I have things of that nature. The good thing, the one thing that I did have plenty of was flashlights. <laughs> but, um, you know, people always say, you know, you need to have a little small portable radio or something like that. I did have that, but late at night, there's nobody in the radio studio, so you're not getting any updates. So that's infuriating. And if you don't have power, you can't watch TV, so you can't get those up-to-date TV things that they're pretty good at, you know, the weatherman and things like that. So that's out. And I think the only way I could have really been in touch with anybody would be via ham radio. And if I don't have an external power supply, shit out of luck. So I'm going to have to go get that today.
but uh, yeah, interesting. You learn from your mistakes and you adapt. It'll make you stronger. Hopefully I can get power back. I'd hate for my, <sighs> I'd hate to drink warm beer. All right, so my mailman just dropped off my mail. <laughs> Obviously it would be a, a, a tactical uh, gear. Um, but, um, you know, I teach this all the time in disaster preparedness classes that uh, the thing that people crave the most is information, and that's true. Um, I, needed, I need to know what's going on. So I talked to my mailman, and um, he was telling me, like, down the street, they said there might be an hour before the power gets back on. Hopefully that's true. Um, but it's good just to talk to people that are out because then you know what's kind of going on and that that really is one of the keys to preparedness I think is to have kind of a, a social network or or know a way to get information so that you're not completely out there by yourself and uh, just go from there that's just a point I wanted to make so about one of these little fellas, hopefully that will uh, help a little bit with uh, uh, my cell phone. Charger three ways, wall outlet, vehicle, internal battery. So we'll see. There we go, the lights on, so let that charge up for a couple of hours. <laughs> 